talking about an event at Moda Center tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. From what I understand, you can buy an entire seat to this event, but you'll only need the edge. Yes, Monster Jam is back. <laughs> it kills me that they were able to do what they do with those trucks. So with that in mind, let's head out live to the Moda Center this morning because we have one of the drivers of one of those trucks with us live. He's Tristan England. He's the driver of Earthshaker. What's up there this morning, Tristan? Man, we're hanging out. I got in late last night and I was able to be here this morning. I'm so excited to be able to talk to you guys. This is like my fourth time here in Portland, Rip City. About to shake things up. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do that with a truck he calls Earthshaker. So we're going to show some video that kind of explains what Earthshaker and the other monster trucks are capable of doing. My question for starters, is this like a competition? Are you, is there a winner at the end of the night there, Tristan? There is. There's an overall event champion at each event, and we have four different competitions that we do. We have racing, two wheel skills, donuts, and then freestyle even have some FMX guys come and jump for our halftime event. But man, it's all for points to get to the world finals in Nashville, Tennessee, July 1st. I'll have my cowboy hat out there, that's for sure. But <laughs> hey, we got to keep chasing them points. We're at the top right now. And we got to keep eating. <laughs> a, a moment ago, Tristan, we actually showed some pictures of your truck, Earthshaker, right there behind you this morning, doing things like actually like standing straight up and down, uh, doing wheelies and twists and turns. To me, there is a level of danger here that I would not suggest for like my own two sons. <laughs> what are they doing to protect the drivers in these trucks? Man, we are fitted out with the best safety equipment possible. I have a full containment ISP racing seat that's fully contained and fitted for myself as if all the other drivers are the same. And then I have a five point Simpson harness that keeps me tight. And I also have my Hans device and my helmet. I'm so safe, I'm fearless behind the wheel. <laughs> uh, there's a line that I often hear when you see the advertisement running for this event. They say, you can buy the whole seat but you'll only need the edge, right? Are you familiar with this line? Can you deliver that for me in your I'm accent? I'm familiar with that one, but l hey, let me, let me know if you heard this one. I give 100% in everything I do, unless I'm donating blood. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I have heard that before, just never before on the Sunrise Show. But I've actually heard a few things this morning that I've never right. heard before on the Sunrise Show. Hey, uh, Tristan, are you able to uh, navigate your way into the driver's seat this morning? Because I know there's a trick to actually getting into that truck. I got a little junk in there right now, so y'all don't judge me on that. But you come take a look. Uh, you can see the shocks in the front as well. Yeah. We got so much travel. These things are 12,000 pounds and the tires, we rely heavy on our BKT tires. But up in here, just a little junk in the way. My hat case there. My car looks uh, the I same, don't worry in. about it. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like a jungle gym for kids. My son's three and his name is Crash. So we have a lot of fun hanging out at Monster Jam when he gets to come and hang out. But this is my office. Uh, it's not a nine to five. It's uh, two minutes at a time and we have a lot of fun. The big trucks are out there at the Moda Center and so is our Woo. Sunrise photographer, Eric Patterson. Look at those tires. Wow. Uh, my goodness gracious. So here's the deal. <laughs> from what I understand, I've never been to a Monster Jam show. From what I understand, Christine, Brenda and Rod. Oh, is that Eric next yeah. to the tires? Look at that. Is that a shark? <laughs> <laughs> is Eric that small or are those tires that big? So here's what I understand, Christine, Brenda, yeah. and Rod. If you go to Monster Jam, they will sell you the entire seat that you purchase, but you'll only need the edge. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was... That was I mean, that's the advertisement for years for this show, right? <laughs> you'll only that. need the edge. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. This would be another. Moda Center is home to Monster Jam tonight. Tomorrow and Sunday. Yes, it is a family friendly affair, as they like to say. And man, the drivers treat these trucks like they're BMX bikes. Right now, we're going to head out live to the Motor Center because we have drivers on scene this morning. We have trucks on scene this morning and we have this woman on scene this morning. Hello and welcome to the show. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Keaton Stewart. So Keaton, uh, right before the commercial break, we saw you inside that monster truck behind you. And Christine turned to me and said, is she one of the drivers? I said, no, she's actually a Monster Jam host. And she says, what does that mean? I said, it means she hosts the show. <laughs> but I don't really know how to explain it beyond that. So uh, explain your role for us, Keaton. 
Yeah, so I like to say I educate and entertain the crowd. So while those monster trucks are out there doing their thing, if there's anything extra or special that I might know that I can share with the fans, I'm definitely letting them in on that. And I also get the really fun job that if one of the drivers breaks one of the trucks, I get to go in the back and update the fans with everything going on. <laughs> so I'm kind of just giving you guys the cool parts of my job. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty quiet there this morning, obviously. What you can't see is what we're showing next to you on the TV screen there. We're showing those trucks doing flips and twists and, and wheelies. And it really is amazing to me. I was describing it earlier as sometimes these trucks act like pogo sticks. Uh, but that tire, I don't know <laughs> if, uh, if, if Eric can pan out a little bit, that tire next to you is bigger than you. I mean, how big are those tires exactly? <laughs> Yeah, so these tires are actually 645 pounds each. So if you think about it, they're, I mean, I'm, I'm five foot five, so almost about almost five foot five. You can see they're pretty big. It's really cool to see the fans come. They kind of measure themselves against the tire each year as they come growing every year. But yeah, these 645 pound tires definitely pack a punch on this dirt. What the heck are they doing to keep and drivers? I want to show oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I want to show you guys something cool. You saw me inside the truck. I want to show you how they get inside. So every Monster Jam driver gets inside of their truck on the left side. You're going to you put your foot right up here like a jungle gym. And there's also these poles of the chassis that you can use to grab and hop right inside. Every single driver has their very personalized seat. So it's custom made to them. It helps them stay safe and helps them stay in the truck. But my good friend Ashley Sanford kind of let me climb in there this morning just to say hi to you guys. Would having you do that right now for us be asking too much? Never. If you can never ask me to get in a Monster Jam truck, and I'm going to say no. Okay, so you I will happily it. hop right inside. So As you're you going to, I always put my foot right up here. Yeah, go ahead. As you do that, I do want to uh, wrap up the segment just by reminding people when they can check this out. So there she goes. Uh, and here come the details right on your screen tonight, seven o'clock tomorrow, one and seven Sunday, one o'clock Four opportunities to check out Monster Jam. Rosequarter.com has more information and has she successfully gotten into the driver's seat. Keaton <laughs> looking good on this Friday morning. <laughs>